Ichimon Japan is made possible by Patreon support. If you would like to make sure that we can keep bringing you more content like this, then head on over to japankyo.com slash Patreon and sign up for as little as $1 a month. Uh, oh my god, what's this new thing called SNS? <laughs> Something's coming to get us, guys. It's called SNS. <laughs> Welcome to Ichimon Japan. I'm Tony. And I'm Ryan. I'm energetic. Tension Takai, right? Tension. Yes. Your tension is so Takai. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that was the end of it, though. I used all of it. Oh, that's it. You used up all your tension. Yeah. Now I'm oh, going to be okay. like this for the rest of the recording. <laughs> now your tension is so low. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's kind of a hint about what we're talking about today. But um, uh, today's question is: What is wase ego and general funny katakana English? <laughs> yes. So um, if you're not familiar, I'll, I'll explain briefly. But wase ego is made in Japan English. There's tons of um, words that are written in katakana. Um, that sound like they came from English to a Japanese ear, but when you say them to、uh, a native English speaker that knows no Japanese, they tend to go, What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> Some of them are based on actual English words. Some of them are just constructions of existing English words that, that like, the combination doesn't exist in English. Yeah, yeah. And, like, others are like. <laughs> Some of them are just、flipping. random. <laughs> Yeah, well, they are random, but also like clipped. So originally it was something longer, but then they clipped it to the point where it becomes totally like unrecognizable from whatever it came from.、Hmm. Um, and then,、um, then, yeah, there's original kind of fabrications, like what we were saying with tension. Tension is kind of like tension takai means like you're kind of like really upbeat and energetic and really excited.、Um, your tension is really high. When your tension is really low, you're kind of down and like, you know, out of energy. That- No. That one is always it, weird to me because I've explained to people like why it doesn't have that meaning in English because like tension is the idea of being like pulled on. Yeah. And they always respond like, yeah, in Japanese too. And then like, <laughs> then why is being pulled on positive? <laughs> and then、like, you're just like, well, I don't know. It's almost like you're saying like, well, I, I always say like tension, you're, when your tension is really high, you have blood pressure. That, that you、mm. know, high blood pressure, that sounds like one thing.、Um, and then like tension, the guy also sounds like tense. Which is a different meaning from, you know, excited. It's kind of, it's almost like, yeah, well, it's a negative thing when you're tense, right? Yeah, yeah.、So. Like in English, all of the high tension or tenses are bad. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's funny. I mean, I use it in, in Japanese, but I speak Japanese. But when you literally translate like that, it's just funny. It sounds funny to the native English ear. So, yeah, that's one example right there that wasn't on the list, but thanks to、uh, Ryan's intro, we, we introduced it. <laughs> yeah, this list is not exhaustive. I, I think we're getting maybe 2% of all of them because every、oh, day、yeah. I come across a new one, it's like, wait, what? Yeah, there's so many. And I actually tried to find some funny ones that I haven't discussed <clears throat> before. But、um, I'll start with number one, which came up to me just naturally while I was. Like、uh, doing stuff on the internet, and I saw somebody do this, use this word in a funny way. But、uh, paka, so、mm. uh, paka in Japanese refers to a hoodie, like the thing that you put on, you know, with a hood,、um, a kind of jacket, you might say. <laughs> We were talking about jackets before, but、um, uh, anyway, yeah, it's, it's a hoodie. But I saw somebody in, from Japan write paka. In English, as P A R K E R. First of、ah. all, that was weird, which because it's it's not Parker, it, it's the original English would be Parker.、Mm. But Parker is a person's <laughs> last name, like Peter Parker, Spider Man. So that you was. Know, now that you mentioned it, because it, it, it shouldn't be a long ka at the end, right? Like, usually the long elongation of a ka indicates it is car. Especially at the end, yeah, we see that a lot with like monster names like kaiju and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I feel like if it was a new word today that was being katakanified, they'd probably just go paka. Might、But、be, might be. Because they didn't for whatever. I really want to meet the person who's in charge of katakanifying English because he's just all、yeah. over the freaking place. <laughs> the guy with the hanko, he seals off, he signs yes, off. Yes, it's, it's just one dude. His name's Katakana Joe, and he like never <laughs> leaves. The capital. Sounds good to me. Stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so then 
but par par when you when you say parka in English, it, it's not a hoodie. It's like this big winter coat with a hood, right? Yeah. Like it's not the same thing. It's kind of similar, but it's not the same as a hoodie. So this is what happens also, a lot. Is like it's based on something that a long time ago was kind of similar to English, but now it's nothing like it. Yeah, yeah. So it it it's like slightly different, recognizable, but not exactly the same. <laughs> And that is so confusing to Japanese people. Like, uh, and then on top of this, so another thing that I saw was somebody write hoodie as foodie uh, with an F because H and F are confusing to a lot of Japanese people because it kind of sounds similar in the Japanese. There's no real distinction <clears throat> in, in the Japanese phonetic system. So they were they wanted to say foodie. foodie. Yeah, but foodie. they wrote foodie like as in a person that's like really picky about food and loves eating food. <laughs> So it's like, I bought a foodie. It's like, what, what? Look at the foodie in the hoodie. <laughs> yeah, but a foodie, yeah, that foodie is wearing a hoodie. <laughs> so this word is so confusing to Japanese people. Paka. <laughs> yeah, in general, I feel like there's so many katakana, especially jacket, but other clothing names that just do not match English. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm sure there, there's at least one. Yeah, there's like two other ones in this list that'll come up. But uh, yeah, that's the first one that I just noticed just living my life. This organically came up. Um, so another one here that I, I, I thought of when I was making this list was SNS. <laughs> I cannot get my students to stop saying SNS. No matter how many times I tell them it's not English, they just ignore me. Like, it's in Romaji. It has to be English. Yeah, yeah. It's not even like it's in Romaji. It's like it's let it's an it's an abbreviation of a fabrication. Like it's 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 letters. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Um, so S N S is supposed to be social network so, blah, 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 social networking service. Yeah, which means social media. Yeah, but we don't but say that not. in English. Yeah, never. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. It's super common, and Japanese people think it's natural English, but again, it's not. And I do hear sometimes native English speakers then adopt that into their speech mm. when they've lived in Japan for a long time or deal with, um, you know, Japan stuff. And I understand why it is, I guess, a convenient thing, and you just hear it all the time, so you absorb it. But actually, if you were to say that to a native English speaker that does not understand any Japanese, it would probably throw them off because we don't say S and S to refer to, you know, Facebook and Twitter, blah, 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 all this stuff. So I also don't use it, but it has come to feel perfectly natural to me for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. And I do still remember like six years ago, whatever, the first time I encountered it, literally having to like stop class and go to the other teacher like, what is S and S? Yep. Yep. Super common. But yeah, it's social media, guys. Uh, but I mean, to the to the Japanese people, which are probably not listening to this. So <laughs> I think a kid wrote a paper like we have to be careful about SNS because we can bully on SNS and people might <laughs> find our information on SNS. And when you yeah. know it's like the Internet, essentially, like that makes sense. But yeah, otherwise, it's like, what, what is this? <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, my God, what's this new thing called SNS? <laughs> Something's coming to get us, guys. It's called SNS. <laughs> <laughs> These bullies are getting us. Oh. <laughs> uh. Um, here's a quick one. Um, Arubaito, which is not wasay, it's not English, like it's, it, it's from German, but I think this one trips up a lot of people in, in Japan. Um, but it's originally from German, I believe. Arubaito, Arbeit, Arubaito, and it means part time job. So it's rare, um, but I do like it when people try to Englishify it, assuming it came from English. So instead of saying like I go to Arubaito, like I go to Arbeit, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that happens like, with. <laughs> That happens with some like non-English words when Japanese people are, like kind of struggle to speak with a native English speaker, and then that word pops up. They mm. they can sometimes try to say it in an Englishy way. They go like, "No, nah, sorry, that still doesn't make sense." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not making fun of people. It's just one of the, the 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 quirks of the language because since it's all in katakana, a lot of people just kind of assume that most of these are English, and it's a. It's a safe assumption because a lot of them do, in some way, derive from English. So, and then here's here's another one. This one's, uh, yeah, I don't think a native English speaker would probably understand this uh, because it's like double uh, made in Japan English because it's 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 double or triple here. So, noto pasokon, 
this means like a laptop, like a computer, right? And what I yeah. mean is, so noto means notebook, which is already an abbreviation of notebook. And then we have pasokon, which comes from personal computer, aka PC, but personal computer is shortened to paso, paso naru, right? And then computer becomes kong, pasokon. So we have two different shortened words coming together to create a whole new thing that a native English speaker would probably have no clue what it means if they just heard this. Noto <laughs> pasokon. Yep. Um, but I, I do believe laptop is, is, has become more common. Um, I, I do believe that people do understand that as well. So um, I'm not sure what the ratio is, but yeah, that, that's what I heard. I'm also just going to throw out there because I, at least in our era, every textbook, if you were learning Japanese, taught you that computer was computer, which oh, I remember you seeing literally that. nobody ever says. So yeah. Um, yeah, 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 the default, I mean, people will understand that it's still like known, I guess, but 99.99% of the time, it's just pasokon. Yep, 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 yep. And you do see, uh, like, I think you see, like, the PC, like, written out. I think you see yeah. that, too. Yeah. I think, I, I'm not a student myself, but I think computer is still used as, like, a name if you're, like, a computer programming class or something. Uh, Yeah, probably. That that doesn't surprise me. I mean, it makes sense, yeah. Because that's the more general term in theory, I would, I would assume. Yeah, and, and you wouldn't say, like, my senmon is pasokon. Or maybe you do, actually. <laughs> I, I, I've never heard that. I mean, that's... I've never heard that, but I feel like if I did hear that, I'd be like, okay... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same here, same here, yeah. Um, going, I guess, with the computer-related uh, words here. Um, brindo tachi. Um, oh, brindo. So, okay, okay. So, brindo as in blind, right? Like, can't see or don't see. Um, and then tachi as in touch. Um, this is not, like, a super common word, but it was in a list of wasego that I found in, in Japanese. It was a Japanese article. And this is touch typing. So, like, when you're typing on the keyboard and not looking at the keys, it's brindo tachi. <laughs> I just got to interrupt here and say, no one on earth says touch typing. You just say type without looking. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, yeah, not that many I honestly people believe if someone different. walked up to me and said, like, can you touch type? I would just be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Is that like when I type on the on the phone screen, like with my thumbs? <laughs> I, I, I can't type without touching, so I guess so. <laughs> I mental type. <laughs> I also, but, just, I don't mean to make fun of you, but on the notes you sent me for the stuff ahead of time, you have yeah. a typo where you said brando touch with no. Oh, e. sorry. So sorry, I'm just sorry, like sorry. brand touch. <laughs> yeah, brand touch. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Sorry, I forgot the e. Brando touch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brand touch Sorry. at least makes more sense than brand touch. Yeah, it does. <laughs> brand touch. That's like a marketing term. Uh, <laughs> and it would yeah. not surprise me if that was some marketing phrase that like, yeah. oh, we have to make them the brand resonate like brand touch you. Yeah, I I mean I'm pretty sure Densu is using that. Saikino brand touch wa chotto yowai in desu ne. It sounds natural when you do it like that. It really does. It really does. Like marketing talk in, in Japan sometimes gets really super katakana fied. Um, like, Since we're on Tachi, another one I'll point out is that it's not, a, I don't know if it counts as Wasego or just people using words wrong. I guess you don't say it in Japanese, but lots of yeah. students, when they're trying to speak English, for whatever reason, they don't know the word pet. So. Uh -huh. Those like I, when they go to the zoo, they're like I want to touch the horse. When I go home, I like to touch my oh. dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes, like at a zoo, I think it's okay to like, oh, I want to touch it. It sounds like you just want to get close. But when you say like, yeah. I go home and touch my dog, it sounds awkward. Yeah. It, it sounds strange. Yeah, we we wouldn't say that. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, I I don't remember the word pet being like as a verb being emphasized. Yeah, it's just like a a animal. In Japanese, an animal you keep because you never have a pet. You must always keep a pet in how yeah. English is taught in Japan. I keep a pet and I touch it every day. <laughs> yes. Okay, so in case this isn't clear, for whatever reason, even though I think at least in American English, in American English it's natural to say, like, I have two dogs, I have a cat. They strictly teach students in Japan to say, I keep a dog and I keep cats. Which I guess technically yeah. isn't wrong, but sounds not natural. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I think keep might be used more for like livestock or something like that. 
Yeah, if you say I keep a dog, it sounds like it's trying to escape, but I won't let it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, not yeah. important. But yeah, anyway. touch. Um. Yeah. So touch. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna skip this one. Move on to the next one. Misu. Okay. Misu. This one so I think is not that bad though. This is easy to understand. It's yeah. I think in context, especially, you can still kind of get it. But it, but anyway, misu means mistake. Comes from mistake, right? Misu teki. But it, it can be a little confusing, just depending on like you know if it's out of context. Because the, the next one here that, that I thought was kind of funny was misesu, which refers to Mrs. like as in Mrs. Uh, Smith or whatever, right? Like an an, an older woman, usually a, a married woman. Um, you know, in, in Japanese, that's what it would refer to. Um, but there's no, I think, like, Mrs. Is, is used, but Misu, as in Miss, is not really used. Misu would be for mistakes. So it's just, mm. I don't know, gets, gets kind of confusing yeah. when you think about it that way. But that's that's how it is. Um, all right. And then uh, we have, oh, Rip Cream. Rip Cream. So, what does so that before mean? Before we Ryan? say what it means, I'm going to point out, oh. like I said when I saw this, that in my yeah. time living in Japan, I've never actually heard someone say "lipu cream." Usually, they just say "lipu." Yeah, yeah, you hear that a lot. Yeah. So, what does it mean, Ryan? Apparently, it means uh, lip balm or like chapstick. Yeah, chapstick, lip balm, whatever you call it. But um, "lipu" comes from lip, and then "cream," cream. But a lot of people just shorten it to "lipu." I think that's the more common. I have um, literally heard my wife say, where is my lip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I've heard it all the time, too. Yeah. Deep, 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 deep. Like, not even in Japanese, just like in English. Oh, where's my <laughs> Where's my lip? <laughs> wife, if you're listening, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, not she, she knows fun. the difference, it's... too. She just mixes them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. I think when, you know, our, our, uh, the point of all this is just to show how, how, like, kind of funny language can be not to laugh at people's mistakes, but rather because of these funny quirks of the language, we get these kind of confusing things yeah. like when you're communicating cross culturally. And sometimes people who know the differences intentionally use the other one to make, make it more humorous. Yeah, that too. And then also, I mean, to be perfectly honest, sometimes it is a little bit more convenient, like convenience hmm. instead of convenience store, right? So oh, yeah, it's no, just shorter, easier. Literally 100% so. of foreigners who live in Japan say convenience. I've never heard yeah, someone yeah. say, let's it's go to the convenience super store. Common. Yep. yep. Kind of different. Super common. Almost every foreigner also adopts the word inaka because everyone agrees rural is hard to say. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> that is a good word. Yeah. Uh, um, let's, uh, let's keep going. We're going to go on to, uh, oh, this one's a classic. Hochikisu. Hochikisu. Hochikisu so, is an interesting one. It, it is. It is. And, to me, it sounds like a like a nice warm pastry or something, but <laughs> I can kind of see that. <laughs> but what what is a what is a hotchkiss? It is a stapler. Yep, it's a stapler. So um, if you want to be super technical, the official correct word for stapler in Japanese is stapura. But you ah, will never okay. meet a single Japanese person who uses that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's. So Hotchkiss is a brand uh, name, apparently. I think it was a model of a stapler that was introduced to Japan. Yeah, and I, I guess it just became like the Kleenex of yeah. staplers. I yeah. did. I actually did research on this one because I did a lesson on like mismatched katakana wasego things. And oh, if you look on Wikipedia in Japanese, like the page is stapura, but then like ah. it, right below this is like matawa Hotchkiss. <laughs> But Hochikis, yeah. I guess it was some like model that was sold in Japan that was really popular, like back in like nineteen fifteen or nineteen twenty or something, and it just sort of took oh, over. Oh wow, that old. Uh huh. But supposedly, if you work in like a stapler manufacturing company, I think they might still use the term stapler. Well, I would, I would assume so. They don't want to, you know, talk about a brand name like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. No but, one in Japan knows the word stapler, even if you say stapler, they'll always say. Hochikis. Yeah, I mean, like. Yeah, Hotchkiss is the common one that you hear. And like I've I've heard from two different people, two different stories of somebody, a Japanese person going somewhere, maybe like to the US or somewhere, asking trying to ask for a stapler, but they, they don't use the word stapler, they just keep saying Hotchkiss and they try to say it like, you know, Englishify it like Hotchkiss. Yeah. 
and and the person just has no clue what they're talking about. I, I guess eventually they have to mime it out or something, and, and they they understand. But yeah, it's one of those things where you if you don't know, you just assume, oh, this is English, so it must be Hotchkiss, right? <laughs> so yeah, get your Hotchkiss, guys. Um, all right, here's here's two. Uh, these are super well known, I think. But O L and Sarariman, right? One so, thing that strikes me. Okay, to first explain, <laughs> O L is office lady. Saladiman yeah. is salary man. Yeah. But one thing I never Which, thought of before right now, why is the yeah. woman one like shortened but the man one is not? Like I, it, well, O L and S M. Yeah, because it would be S M, I guess. <laughs> um that, I I yeah, I don't know, man. I I don't know which came first or why these things happen the way they happen. Um but it's a good it's a good observation. Um, yeah, OL office lady means a female office worker. Sarariman is basically a businessman and office yeah. uh, worker. Um, but especially Sarariman becomes really um, like even non uh, Japan focused publications sometimes use the word salary man. So it's kind mm. of permeated into like the native English discourse a bit. So. This one is almost becoming like n- understandable English. <laughs> it is one that if you hear, you can kind of understand it. It's just not commonly yeah. used. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, well, I mean, really, you only use salary man to refer to the archetypal Japanese businessman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I'm not sure if so you. So if someone that- works for a normal Japanese business, same exact company as everyone else, but they show up to work in a blue shirt, are they still salary man? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, the archetype would definitely be a white shirt. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. No? Um, they have a very, a very distinct like image. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the classic, uh, you know, business suit, you know, tie, carrying the briefcase, and uh, yeah, on the train. <laughs> yeah. So if they're on a bike and they have a backpack instead of a briefcase and like a green shirt, then they don't count. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not nah, nah. especially the green shirt that threw me off. Bike is still possible, but yeah, yeah, I guess sometimes the bike. Honestly, if it is a bike, it's probably a backpack, so it'd have to be like kind of like a man yeah, yeah. thing or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so I here's the, here's the food. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. She chicken. <laughs> yep. So she chicken confusing I'm... in both languages, though. So she chicken. It is. It is. Yeah, would be so, what we call tuna, but what is actually albacore, right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so sea chicken would be the Englishification of this, which I assume came from chicken of the sea, which refers to canned tuna, which, as Ryan pointed out, may not always be actual tuna. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I don't know if in the past, because there is the brand chicken of the sea, maybe in the past, like sea chicken was yeah. like a slangy thing for canned tuna. Maybe and they just yeah. took that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So she chicken is understandable, and I, I, I mean, I suspect that was probably a brand name of something too. So, but anyway, she chicken tuna, tuna can tuna. Um, here's here's a fun one that I think would not uh be understandable to a native English speaker uh that does, knows no Japanese. Interi, interi. I don't so think this I've is heard this a, one, and I would not know it. Yeah, it's an intellectual person. I feel like it's you know. interia or something. They just like didn't finish it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, interia is is an actual like interior design, like that kind of interior. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, but interia. Yeah, yeah. Is... That, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like they, if I heard this in context, I would assume they were talking about an interior design store and just like. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, like an intellectual person is an interi. Yeah. Um, similar kind of thing here. Heisel. 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 This is like a, a high society kind of snooty person. Comes from high society. <laughs> I thought it would be like the knockoff brand Haichu. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like a, a, a candy kind of thing. Like a, like a chewy candy. Uh, but yeah, that's a Heisel. I, I don't really hear that too often. I mean, yeah, me but, it, 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 yeah. but I mean, I guess I'm not talking about Heisel people all that often either. Um... Here's here's one uh, for the reception desk. Usually, like the reception area, it's the furonto, furonto. Yeah, so, that one takes getting used to. 
Yeah, yeah. Go to go to the fronto. That's where you check in or something, you know. And isn't like the guy who helps you just called like boy or something? Oh, that sounds familiar. Like but Bell I'm Boy not... got shortened to something weird, but I don't remember exactly what it is because you don't you don't really have them much anymore. Yeah, that sounds familiar, but I I can't say for sure. So I would have to check on that one. Another um, one, if I can add one real quick, I think it's similar yeah. to Fronto is when you go to the station and you go to Home. Home. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, because <laughs> Home. So on the station, the platform is the Home, which makes you think of Home, like a house, a home. Yeah. But no, that comes from Purato Home, the platform for the train. But it's but just why short. Why drop the home. front of it? Usually they drop the second part. Yeah, I know, right? It's like go to the Purato. <laughs> that would make sense. The home is like they already use like my home, uh, you know, home like yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. something that people understand. So it seems like confusing on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense in a way. Like the the train's home could be seen as a platform. That's where it stops. <laughs> I guess if it was the final station, maybe. Yeah, yeah, but no, every single one, it's a home for the plat for the train. So. Go to the home, guys. <laughs> uh, that's that is a very good one. Um, that confused me at the beginning. It's like, what? Why is it called? What's a home? Like, f- yeah. like a phone? Yeah. It, like, if you're uh, in the station, and you see it. It makes sense. But if someone's like talking to you, like, I'll meet you at the home. It's just like, wait, what? Who's like, home? Am I, am I going home? to your house? <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's uh, here's another one. Chuck, Chuck. So, a good one. That means, Ryan. Oh, what zipper. That mean? Zipper. It's a chuck. Yeah, your zipper is a chuck. So, but, but only the like zipper. the upper zippers. It's it, no. It, it, the, oh, no, the no, pants no, no, zipper. The bottom is also... one is. Yeah, I had a pack of zippers. The bottom, the pants zipper is the chuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so chuck would be more like fly, right? Yeah, fly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, Chaku, I believe it's a brand name according to the article. Originally a product name, I guess. Um, hmm. So a lot of these. Uh, but also some people do say Fasuna. Um, maybe what that's a little is, bit more general. Yeah, what I've heard is the pants one is Chaku, but like jacket, sweater, other ones are Fasuna. Yeah, even, so even though Fasuna it's literally the same thing. Is, I guess everything, but Chaku might be specifically. But nevertheless, I mean, when you say when somebody tells you chaku for the first time, you're like, "What, what are you talking about? Like, I, I don't, I don't get what you're talking about." <laughs> um, I like the next one. Yeah, this one's a classic. Uh, probably some people know this one, but magic tape. Magic I wish tape. we had a Ma- guess, just so we could like, what do you think magic tape is? What is magic tape? Well, it's Velcro. <laughs> This is another I mean, one. Whenever I tell my kids, like in English, it's Velcro, they're like shocked. Like, no way, magic tape is so ego. Yeah, it's, yep, no, it's, it's so Japanese. <laughs> Though I believe um, Velcro is another weird one where the official name is like hook and line. What, what, it's not Velcro's a brand. Name, yeah, right? it, it is. It is in English. It's it's hook and lock. I think something hook like and lock, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Velcro is a product name originally, I believe, but yeah, like Kleenex, it just became the thing. Speaking of magic um, tape, though, what is magic? Magic is like a marker, like a sharpie. Yeah, um, yeah, which is funny because it's like I get why because I guess it might have come from just magic, say magic marker. marker. Yeah, but they shortened it, so now it's just magic, which is just funny. It's like pass me the magic, <laughs> which is funny because I play Magic: The Gathering, and it's totally also called magic. <laughs> Everything's magic. <laughs> like if the, you ever were like using a sharpie in a magic event, it would be like they're, they're both magic. So yeah, magic. Magic. Watashi, magic like, uh, yeah, yeah, magic. <laughs> <laughs> and then like if you're doing a card trick, like a magic trick, that's also magic. <laughs> yeah. So if you're doing a magic trick that involves magic cards with a magic marker, no one will know what's oh, going man. on. That's triple magic right there. <laughs> oh, oh, magic mida. Ma- mira, magic no no magic mira i think it is yeah that's like a double-sided um mm. mirror like you see in police interrogations okay that's okay. a magic mirror <laughs> so cute right it's a magic yeah. mirror. but no they're they're watching you <laughs> and just for the record magic is one of the english words famous enough that everyone knows what it means so yeah actual police detectives chose to name their thing a magic mirror for some reason 
I guess so. I don't know how that started, but yeah, the, people love magic in Japan. It's a magical um, nation. It is. It is. It really is. Yeah. Um, here's here's a really fun one. And I love how this one is written with the letter G, but it's called G Pan. All right. I so never heard letter G. Now. Yeah, no, it, it's very common. I've heard it many times, but G Pan, um, like to pronounce it in the English way, Pan. Um, this is jeans, like blue jeans. Um, I hear so, jeans a lot though, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, but Jipan is very, very, like everybody understands this. Huh. Um, yeah, but jeans is also quite common. So, um, so T shots would be t shirt and Jipan. So you, you put on your t shirt and your Jipan and you look like James Dean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jipan, like G, letter G. I love this. I love how it's written with the letter G. Because it's like, that's a total Japanese vacation right there. We don't use the letter G. <laughs> it's with a J. Uh, but yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, jumpa skato. That's um, a jumper skirt, which we don't understand in English. Uh, but th- those are like, uh, you see this in school uniforms a lot. They're these skirts that look kind of like overalls, but they, they have like the dress part on the bottom, like a skirt. Um, but they have the overall top. That's called a jumper skirt, a jumpa skato. So another thing that would not really translate um, if you just say it that way. Um, we're coming close to the end here. Just a couple more uh, funny ones here, uh, fun ones. Uh, wagomu. Wagomu. What's a wagomu, Ryan? <laughs> a rubber band. A rubber band. Yeah, it's a ring gum. <laughs> The wa is is a like a circle or a ring. Oh, that, that's another good one. It's just rubber in general. They will just say gum. Yeah, gomu. Yeah, rubber in general is gomu, and gomu can also mean condom. Gomu is like slang for condom. That is also true. So gomu, yeah, gomu is a, a a well. I guess in English, you, I mean, people don't really say it these days, but I think an old fashioned term like a rubber. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a I, I I've heard yeah. that in old movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me that rubber. <laughs> I don't know like a uh what's that called like a 1930s like uh the guy from casablanca humphrey bogart <laughs> that's all that's his most famous saying is give me a rubber yeah. give me a rubber baby <laughs> that's the classic line from casablanca that's absolutely 100 yeah 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 now, don't look that up tony's right <laughs> it's a very right, so i'm gonna, I'm gonna it's a very erotic um, movie back in the 1920s <laughs> vintage pornography that's that's what they would say back in those days um so i'm gonna close out with two two funny ones here um that i i think go perfectly in in tandem here together so first attack attack mm. so attack like attack right like you would think oh that means attack right yeah no 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 so attack means like to approach Someone, especially. So, for example, there's a really a, a good like example sentence like "Tanaka, Tanaka kun o atak suru," and that that can mean like you're gonna go like confess your feelings to him, like you're gonna approach him to like tell him you like him. <laughs> Sounds so so funny, right? It's like I'm gonna attack this boy Tanaka. It's like whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you? What are you? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> don't don't beat him up. What did he do to you, right? Attack, and then. The the other one that I wanted to introduce in tandem with this one is fight though. Um, which yeah, you think it means again, fight? You would think, but... Nope. Fight, right? No, no, no. Fight though means like do your best or like really don't don't give up. Like give it your all. So it's totally um, possible that somebody would say, "I'm going to attack Tanaka kun," like confess my feelings to him, and then their friend and then is like, the "Fight though." Is, fight though. <laughs> There's a weird so like, trend with like combat words meaning some kind of try your best because if i can yeah. add one another one that's common is terenji terenji yeah oh that's so good yeah yeah which yeah. you would think you know like i'm going to challenge him to a fight or something it has like that kind of antagonistic meaning but in japanese it just yeah. means like to try something new <laughs> yeah it's it's more like to challenge yourself yeah like they don't say yourself but it's kind of always implied so like you yeah. can just like terenji to eat a new food yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Like, all the conflict is taken out. Everything is, like, very positive. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's kind of like a trend across them all, right? Because even tension, like, it's just positive now. 
<laughs> oh, that's so true. Yeah, yeah. Tensho. But I mean, you could go Tensho Hikui, I guess. So that, yeah. maybe that's not. Perfect, but that just but... means you don't have enough tension. So it's like you don't have enough that's lack true. of badness. I don't know. <laughs> that's so confusing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Faito. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, what's it, what, what did you say? Oh, Chadenji. Yeah, and uh, yeah. And then ataku. It's not super common, but it 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 was in the list that I found, and and hmm. I I have heard it before, and it, it it's just yeah, it's funny like ataku, right? I but kogen and challenge are pretty common. Yeah, challenge fight both. Yeah, challenge, challenge also, but that that just means challenger. That that actually is yeah. pretty damn the same. I think pretty pretty mm. much the same. Um, but yeah, kogeki means like to actually attack someone, not not ataku. <laughs> うん、攻撃、そう、田中くん攻撃するよ。おいおい、じゃないなんで。だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だ
that's our that okay till we die this is all we're doing <laughs> we need to become friends with the guy that stamps all the katakana english so that katakana joe? Send them over. yeah yeah katakana joe yeah 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 he'll just you know submit the 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 um on a floppy drive he sends it he mails it to me in hawaii so that i can you know open it up and and you know keep updating you guys on the new words the five and a half inch floppies right yeah, 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 yeah. The of floppy course, floppies. floppies. Yeah. The floppy floppies. Yeah, the old floppies. Yeah, the super old floppies. Yeah. <laughs> ah, all right. So uh, we'll we'll leave it at that. But um, I think you know it's totally possible that we might do yet another one of these because there are just so many like fun words like this. So um, don't be surprised if that happens. But we'll uh, leave it at that. Ryan, you got anything else to close out, or are we just uh, I don't know. Fight the fight the. Did we fight-o. did we fight the? Did we fight though? We, do we have oh, a fight I don't though? Know. I'll end my Wasego set and like goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. You can't just say bye. It has to be bye bye. Yeah. Has to be bye bye. Yeah. No one bye. Two byes. Always two byes. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>